Hey, what is up everybody? Today, I'm going to show you the second way to divide polynomials using synthetic division. Now, in the last video, we talked about the first method, which is long division. And so the difference is that synthetic division works faster, but it only works when the divisor is first degree, meaning that x has to be to the power of 1. If x is to the power of 2, or to the power of 3, and so on, Synthetic division will not work. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. And so we're going to take this and divide it by x plus 1. And it's very easy. So we use this division sign, and the idea behind this is you just drop down the coefficients of the dividend. So what that means is you just put down the 3, and then you put down the negative 2, and then the negative 7, and then the positive 6. So notice that you're keeping the signs in front of them. And then we're also going to put the divisor on the left side of the sign. So how do you do that? Well, you take x plus 1, you set it equal to 0, and solve for x. So you're going to get x is equal to negative 1. And then you put the negative 1 on the left side of the division sign. Okay, and so we're ready to do synthetic division. So the first step is you just put down the 3. And then you take negative 1, multiply by 3, and what's that going to be? Well, that's going to give you negative 3, right? So you put the negative 3 in here. And so you take negative 2 plus negative 3. So negative 2 plus negative 3 gives you negative 5. And then you keep repeating this process. So again, negative 1 multiplied by negative 5 gives you positive 5. And then negative 7 plus 5 gives you negative 2. And then negative 1 times negative 2 gives you positive 2. And then 6 plus 2 is 8. And so when you have the last number, I want you to circle it because this is your remainder. So the second part of synthetic division is just writing the answer out. But before we do that, notice here this is x to the power of 3. And we divided that by x. Right? So x to the power of 3 divided by x gives you x to the power of 2. And so because this is x to the power of 2, this is going to be x to the power of 1. And then this is going to be x to the power of 0. But we don't write that out. Okay, So this divided by x plus 1 is going to give us 3x squared, negative 5x, and negative 2. And then what do we do with the remainder 8? Well, it is positive 8, so we plus 8 divided by x plus 1. Now, if you don't know why I take 8 divided by x plus 1, I will explain very briefly using a different example. So let's say we have 3 divided by 2, right? And 3 divided by 2 is 1 plus 1 half. And so let's do the division together. So 3 divided by 2 gives you 1. 1 times 2 gives you 2, and 3 minus 2 gives you positive 1. And this one here is the remainder. And whenever we have the remainder, we have to divide it by the divisor, which is number 2. It is the same thing up here. We have the remainder, which is positive a. And since it is a remainder, we must divide it by the divisor, and it is x plus 1. So we write x plus 1 here. So how about x to the power of 3 plus 5 divided by x plus 2? So again, this is our division sign, and I want you to pull down the coefficients inside the dividend. So what is the coefficient of x to the power of 3? Well, it is 1, right? So we put down the 1 here. And then what do we put next? Do we put down the positive 5? Well, the answer is no, because you have to follow the sequence. So we can pretend that there is 0x squared and then there's 0x inside this dividend. And so we pull down the 0, and then for the 0x, we pull down the 0, and then lastly, we pull down the 5, right? And then we also need to put something on the left side. So x plus 2, we set it equal to 0, and then we solve for x. So we get x is equal to negative 2. And that negative 2 goes on the left side of the division sign. So again, the first step is you put the 1 down here. Then negative 2 multiplied by 1 gives you negative 2. 
0 plus negative 2 gives you negative 2. And then again, we repeat the process. So negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 gives you positive 4. 0 plus 4 gives you 4. Negative 2 multiplied by 4 gives you negative 8. And then 5 plus negative 8 gives you negative 3. And then we circle our remainder. We are almost done. So we know that our dividend has x to the power of 3. And we divided that by x. So x to the power of 3 divided by x gives us x squared. And over here, it is x to the power of 1. And over here is x to the power of 0, but we don't write that out. Okay, so what does this tell us? Well, it tells us that if we take this and divided it by x plus 2, our answer will be x squared minus 2x plus 4, and then our remainder is negative 3, so that would be minus 3 over x plus 2. Now, what about 2x to the power of 4 minus 5x minus 7 divided by x minus 2? So again, here is our division sign, and the first thing we're going to do is pull down number 2. And then what do we pull down next? Well, remember, we have to finish the sequence. So this is x to the power of 4. We add in 0x to the power of 3. And then we add in 0x to the power of 2. And then minus 5x to the power of 1. So notice here, we finish the sequence from 4, 3, 2, and 1. Right? So we can pull down the coefficient for 0x to the power of 3. And that's going to be 0. Here is also going to be 0. This is negative 5. And this is negative 7. And then we take x minus 2, we set it equal to 0, we solve for x, and we get x is equal to positive 2. So this positive 2 goes on the left side. So just like what we did the last time, we put number 2 down here, we take 2, multiply by 2, that gives us positive 4. So 0 plus 4 is positive 4, and again, 2 times 4 is 8. 0 plus 8 is positive 8. And then 2 times 8 gives you 16. And negative 5 plus 16 gives you positive 11. And again, 2 times 11 gives you 22. And negative 7 plus 22 gives you positive 15. And you circle that because that is your remainder. So the last step we know that this is x to the power of 4 divided by x. That's going to give you x to the power of 3, x to the power of 2, and this is x. Okay, so this means that this divided by x minus 2 gives us 2x to the power of 3 plus 4x to the power of 2 plus 8x plus 11, and the remainder is positive 15, so plus 15 divided by x minus 2. Let's do one last problem, and this problem is the hardest of all the problems we did. So try this one yourself if you can. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring down the coefficients like last time. But notice that the sequence is already completed for you. So this is x to the power of 3, x to the power of 2, x to the power of 1. So the sequence is already established for us. Okay, so we bring down the number 3, then we bring down the negative 5, we bring down the positive 4, and then the positive 2. Okay, so how about the divisor? Well, the last time, our divisor does not have a coefficient in front. So what do we do when there is a number in front of x? Well, you simply factor that number out. Okay, so we have 3 times x plus 1 over 3. And we set that equal to 0. So we solve for x, and we divide both sides by 3. So that's going to give us x plus 1 over 3 is equal to 0. And then we subtract both sides by 1 over 3. And we have x is equal to 1 over negative 3. So we bring this number over here, and let's do synthetic division together. So we bring down the 3, we take negative 1 over 3, multiply by 3, so what's that going to be? Well, that's going to give you negative 1. And then negative 5 plus negative 1 
gives you negative 6. And then again, negative 1 over 3 times negative 6. And what's that going to be? Well, that's going to be positive 2. And 4 plus 2 gives you 6. 1 over negative 3 times 6 is negative 2. And then 2 plus negative 2 gives you 0. So this time, our remainder is 0. So one last step. We take x to the power of 3, and we divided that by x. So x to the power of 3 divided by x gives us x squared. And so this is x to the power of 1, and this is x to the power of 0, but we don't write that out. Okay? And so basically what this means is this whole thing divided by our divisor gives us 3x squared minus 6x plus 6 divided by 3. Now, why are we dividing it by 3? Well, because in our calculation, we only divided it by the 1 over 3, which is this part, but we haven't divided it by the number 3 itself. So we're going to do that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out the number 3 in the numerator. And we can cancel out the number 3. And we're left with x squared minus 2x plus 2. And since our remainder is 0, we don't add anything to our answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have learned something new. Now, I would like you to try this one yourself. So you have x squared minus 9x plus 14 divided by 2x minus 5. So try this one yourself using synthetic division. And if you have any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time.